and welcome to my youtube channel my name is z or you can call me sunshine if you want more sunshine in your life why not speak it into existence by calling me sunshine <laughs> I'm kidding, I do go by sunshine as well. And welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, you are absolutely welcome. Please do introduce yourself and like, you know, subscribe, share, all of those good things. I'd appreciate that. And if you are a sunny, as always, I appreciate you. And I hope you are having an extra blessed day. You see those people who haven't subscribed, I wish you a blessed day. But by subbies, I hope that for now, this is the best day for you. <laughs> um, let's get into today's video. This video is actually part of a video that I already did previously, and I will try and link it. Um, and the title of that video was why are friends few when days are dark and i ended that video with words from um bishop td jakes where he talks about um the title of his message was nothing just happens uh, but he says words that um as mentioned in that video really just encouraged me and i hope they encourage you as well which is your destiny is never it's not tied to somebody that left and i really hope that that encourages you now in today's video i just want to go a little bit deeper into it because i had a revelation about this okay and this might take a little while as you can see i'm sitting on the couch because <laughs> this might be a while think of this as bible study right and because it's bible study let's go to the book of ruth it's actually the story is in the book of Ruth. Ruth is only four chapters, guys. So literally, you could like read the book of Ruth. You can pause this and read the whole book and be back in like, I don't know, 30 minutes? <laughs> Depending on how fast you read. But it's like literally four chapters. And it's an amazing story. It really, really is. Actually, I think I'm, 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 it's one of my favorite. I, I think I'm willing to say now I'm trying to think if there's any other stories in the Bible that I love the joys of story but yeah man let's just say the book of Ruth is there in the top five of my favorite stories in the Bible um, and it's a, it's a really a, a, a beautiful story and that's where um, that sermon was coming from that's what he was talking about and you know if you know the if you know the story like I said, you really could just pause this and read it because I don't want to read it. And I feel like I might say things that you might be lost. So I really recommend that you <laughs> read the story. Um, but as it starts, um, we meet a character by the name of Naomi. And Naomi has lost everything. You know, this was basically her dark season or her valley season or her challenging season whatever you want to call it but naomi was going through it okay <laughs> this woman was just going through it she had lost she was in a foreign country first of all and okay well she had she and her family had run away from the fair mine that had been going on back home and she goes into um she goes to this foreign country with a husband and her two sons and unfortunately she loses them all and now she's 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 really sad um quite bitter actually um because everything that could go wrong has literally gone wrong however she does have two daughters-in-law and you know she decides that you know what i've just gone through a lot so i'm just gonna go back home to judah and yeah that's it my life is over you know so she says to these two young ladies listen go back home go back home uh, because i'm gonna also go back home uh we're not told where they were from but yeah that's basically what happens in the story and um 
she actually the first time she says this they both cry they both weeping and they're like no man you know we just we've been through all of this together because as you can imagine you know the grief that they had to all go through it was a lot um and they feel like no let's not let's not part ways um but she says to them listen there's nothing i can do for you um you know even if i were to get married you know are you gonna um wait around until i fall pregnant and then that child grows up like you know like now he's basically saying listen just just leave me alone and opa leaves opa leaves and you know actually before opa leaves i want us to go to verse number eight um in the in chapter one um and it says and naomi said to her two daughters-in-law Go, return each to her mother's house. The Lord deal kindly with you as you have dealt with the dead and with me. And the first thing that I wanted to talk about in this video, I'm not even sure what I'm going to title this video, but the first thing that I wanted to draw your attention to is that she wished them well. And when people are leaving, as mentioned, it does not make them bad people. It just means that their part is over. Um, but wish them well. You know, I, I think just wish them well. Um, let's, we, we know how we are and we have this tendency of when people have left us in our lives, you know, we go tell other people about it. Oh, that so-and-so was not there for me or so-and-so has left me or, you know, yeah, you know things are not going to go well for them or whatever or i want to see how she's going to figure this out i want to see how he's going to deal with this because without me he's nothing stop doing that stop doing that it, it's it's not healthy when 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 you're parting ways with people wish them well and i think that's that's the one thing that stood out for me um very early in the story to you know to say naomi said to them you have been kind to me and and your friends or the people around you who who might have left don't forget that they were once kind to you so wish them well um as you guys part ways i know normally it's not the ideal way you know it's not the 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 <laughs> the Ruth story where we actually part ways and we talk to each other and we say okay this is the end of it or whatever you know normally it kind of happens that we drift apart or sometimes people stop talking to each other I would recommend that you try and talk to or reach out to a friend who just stopped talking to you you know I mean the Bible does say it's one of my dad's favorite verses let me actually find it I think I know where to find it um in Romans and it says I could just find Romans I could just find Romans I thought I told you we're gonna be here a while in Romans 12 verse 18 this is my dad's favorite yo he likes quoting this one it's a difficult one it says if it is possible as much as it depends on you live peace peaceably with all men so as i'm saying you know somebody might just have stopped talking to you for whatever reason and you don't know try and reach out just so that you find out you know what what, what is happening um and you know, somebody might think, isn't that the opposite of what you said by let them go? Yes, let people go, but don't let them go without knowing exactly what it is that has happened. Because if somebody just stops in jail out of the blue talking to you, I don't know, even even letting them go is going to be difficult because you're going to be wondering, what did I do or what has happened? But if you engage them or you reach out and you you find out that they've decided to write you off, you know, then let them go. <laughs> if it's something that you can fix, um, as what scripture said, says, try and leave, live as peacefully as you can with other people. So, you know, try your best to try and mend it if you can, if possible. And sometimes by mending it, it doesn't mean you go back to your former way of how you were. So perhaps you were very, very close friends and something happened and then you reached out 
um, you know, to try and find out and then you guys resolved that, yes, dynamics change, right? But like I said, when people are now going, um, I, I mentioned in, in the previous video that sometimes people, um, I think I might have mentioned it, maybe I mentioned it in my mind, <laughs> but sometimes when people, let's say, get married or go to another country, it could also be the reason why people um, drift apart. You know, um, I think I, I mentioned the part about proximity, but also there's things that happen in people's lives. You know, like some people go in to have kids and then you're no longer as close because that person then starts spending time with other mummies, things like that, guys, like things that actually happen. Wish them well, wish them well um, with whatever it is that has, you know, you know that has happened to them or just with their lives wish them well i would even go as far as to say pray for them pray for them and wish them well so then the story continues and um in verse 14 to 17 uh, of chapter number one we're still in the book of ruth sorry <laughs> you might be wondering which chapter number one um still in the book of ruth chapter number one um verse 14 to 17 um and this is a revelation that came to me this morning and that's why i decided to do this video um and it's simply opa left but ruth stayed some people can leave and as mentioned in that video don't be so consumed with those people having left that you miss the Ruth that has stayed. Um, God has an amazing way of making sure that we are well taken care of no matter what. You know, so yes, you're going through this difficult season and then some people leave, you know, and as I said, grief them you know um it's it's a loss you know it's something that you know you don't just wake up from the following day and be okay it hurts um but heal from that at the same time do not neglect the ruth that stayed you know i was actually thinking about it and i was like now i realize why ruth is the stirring is the main character of this book you know because you know, not only did Ruth stay, but Ruth's, Ruth's loyalty, you know, her declaration to Naomi and, you know, I mean, this girl goes on and says, hey, you know, um, I will go with you wherever you go, your people will be my people, you know, wherever you die, you know, that's where I will die, like, that's deep, that, that's really deep, you know, <laughs> Ruth is the real MVP according to me, right? And that's the thing. Um, don't don't let the 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 opera that leaves um, make you miss the Ruth that stays. You know, as as I said, it's 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 okay to grieve opera, but there's also a Ruth that has stayed, and I'm so appreciative of um, you know. Because the reason why this revelation came to me this morning is that, you know, there's a friend that's just, yo, I've, I've, I have a few friends that have stuck with me through this season. As you can tell, I've also lost a few. But, you know, there's one in particular who we've become so much more closer. And, you know, they've really stuck by me. And that's when I realized that, you know, God doesn't leave you totally neglected. There will be at least one person that will stick with you through it all and appreciate that. You know, more than you grieving what has 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 has, has ended, you know, also acknowledge that there's something that you still have that God has blessed you with. Not my battery dying on me. I'm not even sure where we were now. Um, let me just quickly actually recap. I've, I've talked for a long time, I know. But I did tell you there's going to be a bit of a longish one. Um, the first point was to wish people well, even as they leave. Uh, wish them well. Point number two was that you should not be so focused on the people who've left that you 
neglect to acknowledge the ones that stayed you know don't, so don't miss the ruth because opa left don't focus too much on that focus on what you do actually have um and i wrote here don't be a victim i think i'm always saying that <laughs> so the story continues and as i said please just read it for yourself because i'm gonna just cut it short and i'm gonna paraphrase some parts so basically they get back to judah this is naomi and ruth and um naomi says to ruth we gotta eat so you know so ruth says okay cool let me go hustle and she so happens so happens but this is also not something that i take lightly this is proof that this was all part of god's plan from the beginning she so happens to go um gleaning um in the field of a man called boaz so and it turns out boaz is actually a relative of naomi's blah 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 blah, blah. anyways <laughs> actually my favorite part so a lot of people know this part of the story the love the love story part of Ruth's story but like i said there's more to it um but my favorite part of the story is the story is the part where naomi says to ruth shoot your shot girl go to boaz i don't know me but <laughs> that's just my take on it like i said read for yourself <laughs> and you'll see she did she did like okay go chapter three hmm she said, Amaya, oh shoot your shot. So I'm not saying anyone must shoot their shot. I'm just saying that's what Naomi said to Ruth. Okay? And Ruth did. And she with the king. One thing about Bo is he I really like his character because he is a man of integrity. He tried by all costs um, to protect Ruth. And not only that, one of my favorite, favorite parts of the story, and I think it's often overlooked is the part where Boaz realizes that actually there's another relative that can buy Naomi's land you know because Akiti he's closer culturally whatever and he could have hidden that Boaz could have just kept that a secret and you know just bought it himself because Boaz has Boaz had money okay Boaz Boaz was but anyways, <laughs> but he could have just bought the, 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 the piece of land and married Ruth and, you know, but Boaz was a man of integrity. I, I believe in Sizulu they say, I think so. <laughs> From a Zulu girl, doesn't really know her language. But anyways, okay, let's focus. So uh, Boaz doesn't do that. He doesn't overtake that um relative who's closer he actually calls a whole meeting and everything and presents um the piece of land to that relative to say hey you can buy it because you're closer and that relative is like nah i'm good basically that's the story i've just compressed about two chapters um into a few sentences then the last point that i want us to focus on is how god restored um naomi through ruth and this we're going to find in chapter 4 um verse 16 and 17 um then naomi took the child okay sorry so boaz does end up marrying ruth and they have a child then naomi took the child and laid him on her bosom and became a nurse to him also the neighbor woman gave him a name saying there is a son born to naomi and they called his name obed he is the father of jesse the father of david now first of all this might sound a little bit weird but this is just it, it shows you the power of god because god just defies laws of anything because he's above all of it and he created all of it right and we saw the story of sarah where sarah had a baby when she wasn't supposed to have a baby but we're seeing it again now with the story of naomi naomi is old guys from what we're given right she's old 
And even besides the fact that she's old, okay, let's put aside the fact that she's old. Naomi has not nursed a child in probably 20 plus years. So how is it possible that she's able to nurse this child? Like, it can only be God. God defies rules of biology once again in the story. Um, but the important part that I wanted to, to, for you to see is that through Ruth, Naomi's um, dignity was restored and that's point number three is that God will restore to you what you have lost through the one who stays. So it is important, that's why I'm saying don't miss the one who stays because of the one that it has left, you know, because God can restore and he will likely do it through the one who stays. Um, and lastly, you know, <laughs> I didn't make this a point, but I wrote here, lastly, there's a great reward for the one who stays. Um, before I get to that, also, I just want you to sh see how in, in, in verse 17 of chapter 4, how basically Obed, even though is biologically and physically Ruth's child, but actually was recognized as as Naomi's child. And I think that's beautiful for Naomi because Naomi had lost everything. As I said in the beginning of this uh, story, Naomi had lost everything, but now she, she, she gets restoration through Ruth. And not only that, Ruth gets, you know, honor. You know, Ruth not only gets a book in the Bible, <laughs> but Ruth gets the honor of being mother to Obed. And if you go to Matthew chapter number one in the genealogy of Jesus Christ, Ruth is there because it says that um, Boaz begot Obed through Ruth. So Ruth's name gets mentioned. And I just want to encourage somebody who is the friend that has stayed or who's the friend that is staying through the difficult times, you know, your name will be written in that person's story. You know, they will remember you. They might they might not like throw a whole big party for you or whatever, right? But God sees what you've done. And I think, you know, in, 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 in both videos, I've neglected to actually uh, give credit to those who do stay, um, those who are like Ruth, those who are loyal. Um, and, and, and a lot of times, you know, you're not acknowledged but you play an important role you you you, you play a very very important role in, in this whole story you know just like ruth ruth thought she was just staying with her mother-in-law can't you know she's actually going to be mentioned in the geology uh, genealogy oh, genealogy of jesus christ and how amazing is that you know because from obed then jesse then jesse david and all, th all the way through to Joseph um, and I, I just honestly think that this is proof that God had intended for it to be that way God hadn't intended for Opa to stay and even in your life somebody might have left God didn't intend for the, this person to stay um, remember that your 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 destiny is not tied to them and i hope this is, encourages you i know it's a long chit chatty session bible study whatever you want to call it <laughs> but i hope that um you got something from this and do share if there's any revelation that came to you or if there's anything that you might just want to share with us like guys honestly i do these things to just sort of try and have a conversation i know i'm filming this by myself <laughs> but really the conversation can take place in the comment section so feel free to engage me on what we've just discussed um in the comment section don't forget to like subscribe share if you can um otherwise do have a blessed day further thank you for watching until this point <laughs> love and light to you all